Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2023, slot 1 DILR says that the schematic diagram below shows 12 rectangular houses in a housing complex. House numbers are mentioned in the rectangles representing the houses. The houses are located in 6 columns, column A through column F and 2 rows, rows one, row 1 and row 2. The houses are divided into 2 blocks, block XX and block YY. The diagram also shows two roads, one passing in front of the houses in row 2 and another between the two blocks. So these are six columns A, B, C, D, E, F and there are two rows, row 1 and row 2. So these are the numbers A1, A2, B1, B2 and there are two blocks XX consists of A, B, C and Y, Y consists of D, E and F <coughs> and there are two roads, one in between these and another road here. Some of the houses are occupied, the remaining ones are vacant and they are the only ones available for sale. So vacant ones are available for sale. The road adjacency value of a house is the number of its sites adjacent to a road. For example, the road adjacency, adjacency value of C2. So we have C2 over here and it has one road here and another road here. So it has a adjacency value of 2. F2, the value is 1. So if you look at F2, F2 is here. Okay. And F2, there is only one road in front of it. And B1, it is 0. So B1 is here. There is no road adjacent to B1. The neighbor count. So there are two terms. One is uh, vote, road adjacency and neighbor count. Neighbor count is the number of sites that a house adjacent to occupied houses in the same block. For example, E1 and C1. So E1 can have a maximum neighbor count of 1, 2, 3. So even can have maximum 3 neighbors. Only neighbor count will happen only if there is someone living in that. And C1 can have a neighbor count of 2. So B1 and C2 can be its neighbors. Right. So you need to understand that neighbor count will happen only if like that is why it is saying that maximum possible. That means only if it is not vacant. Okay. Occupied houses. Neighbor count is for occupied houses and one is road number okay road adjacency so these are the two parameters and then we are given that the base price of a vacant house is 10 lakhs and if the house does not have a parking space and rupees 12 lakhs if it does so if it is no non-parking it will have 10 lakhs if it is with parking that will have 12 lakhs and then we have quoted price of a vacant house is calculated as base price this is the base price. Then 5 into road adjacency value. 5 into road. So road can be 0, 1 or 2. Plus then you have 3 into neighbor count. So 3 into neighbors. So if you have um, uh, like 1 neighbor occupied that will be 3 lakhs. 2 neighbors occupied, 3 neighbors occupied. So no neighbor thing is occupied house. Right. So if it is vacant you will not count that as a neighbor. So that is the condition given to us. We are given some more statements and we shall use these statements to find the houses that are vacant. So it says the maximum quoted price of a house in block XX is 24 lakhs. So max 24 lakh. And minimum quoted price of a house in the block YY is 15 lakh. So minimum 15 lakh is the quoted price. Now quoted price will happen only for a vacant house if it is occupied you will not be we will not be counting the price row one has two occupied houses one in each block so that means two are occupied one out of these three and one out of the other three okay then it is given that so two occupied means four vacant Okay, both houses in column E are vacant. So these are vacant houses, right? Each of column D and column F have has at least one occupied house. So one of these will have occupied and one will be vacant. And here also one will be occupied and one will be vacant. Okay, so that is given to us. There is only one house with parking space in block YY. So in block YY only one parking is available. So based on it, we have to answer these questions. Okay. So what we will have to do is we will have to find this 24 lakh and 15 lakh and find out which house can it be. 
So let's start with this 24 lakh. So we know that the base parking is base price is 10 or 12 and we need to make 14 or 12 more okay to make it 24. Now how can we make 14? 14 can be made by 5 plus 333 3, 3. that can be 24 like 14 can be made like this 12 cannot can be made by 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 okay that is the only way we can make 12. Now neighbor count can be how much? So let us say if a house is in center, it can have one, two, three neighbors only. Max three. Neighbor count can be maximum three. So we cannot have this as a possibility. So it means we should have a house with 10 lakh as the base price. That means no parking. Okay. And 14 lakhs in the form of one road and three neighbors. Okay. Now three neighbors will happen. Only these central people will have three neighbors because let us say if you take B1 has three neighbors, B2 also has three neighbors. So if you take other ways, like if you take A2, A2 will have only one and two neighbors. Okay. Similarly, A1 will also have one and two neighbors. So only three neighbors can happen in column B and column E. Here we are concerned with this block X. So we will have the person in column B and there should be three neighbors and road also. So that means the only possibility of the 24 lakh house is this. So this is 24 lakh house. It has no parking. Okay, no parking. Now it means there are three neighbors. So these are occupied houses. And this will be an occupied house. Okay, so these are occupied houses and there is no parking available. Hence its price is 24 lakh. Now we are given that there are two occupied houses and one in each block. So this is the occupied house. That means these two houses are vacant houses. So V means a vacant house. Okay. And O means an occupied house. Now next we need to find in column the second block which are the occupied ones which are the vacant ones. Okay. Now if we see this we are given that both houses are vacant. And each of column DNF has at least one occupied house. So we have found uh, one of these is occupied house, right? Either D will be occupied or F1 will be occupied. So one of them has to be occupied. Then next thing is given to us is that uh, there is minimum price of a house in block YY is 15 lakhs and one such house is in column E. So we need to find that which house can have uh, a price of like 15 lakhs okay so let us say e2 right let's just assume that e2 is that house so e2 has to have a price of 15 lakh so suppose we take e2 as 15 lakh okay how can e2 be 15 lakh see if you take no parking so no parking will give you 10 lakh price okay there is road over here so 10 plus 5 for road okay now if it should be 15 lakh, there should be vacant houses. Both of them should be vacant. Okay. Both of them should be vacant. And it is given that uh, there is uh, row one has two occupied houses each in one block. Okay. So these one of these should be vacant. And there is one more given that each of column D and column F has at least one occupied house. So if we give it 15 lakh, if we give E2 as 15 lakh, base price is 10, 5 lakh for the road, so 15 lakh. So these have to be vacant because if it has neighbors, the price will increase. These are vacant. Column D and F have one occupied house. So they these should be the occupied houses. Now this statement says that there are only two occupied. We are getting three occupied houses. So our initial assumption of this house being at 15 lakh is wrong. So it means this house is worth 15 lakhs. Okay, so even is of 15 lakh. Now, how do we get this of 15 lakhs? See, it will not have road. Okay, so we have to make 15 lakh. There is no road. So that means you cannot take 5 lakhs from anywhere. So it is only possible with 12 plus 3. Right? 12 plus 3 means there is parking. And there is one neighbor. There is parking and there is one neighbor. So this house comes with a parking. 
and there is one neighbor. Now, who will be that V neighbor? The neighbor can be D1 or F1. Okay. Now, this is no neighbor because it is uh, it is given that both are vacant. Which one should be the neighbor? So, now we will have to figure out that who should be the neighbor. Okay. Suppose we have the neighbor as D1. Right. So, suppose D1 is the neighbor. Now, uh, it says that then it should be vacant in that case. Suppose D1 is occupied. This one will be vacant. Right. Now, it says that there is one vac uh, occupied house here. So, this will be occupied because it is given that column F has at least one occupied house. So, if we take this as occupied house, right, this should be vacant because there are only two occupied houses. This is vacant and this will be occupied. Now, if this house is vacant, its price will be uh, 10 lakhs plus and it is also given that there is only one house with parking space and block YY. So, it is it is the only house with parking space. There will not be parking space. Then it will be 10 lakh plus uh, there is a vacant house and this is occupied house. So, it will cost just 13 lakhs because this is a vacant house. This is an occupied house. So, 10 lakh base price plus 3 lakh for one neighbor. So, there is only one neighbor. It becomes 13 lakh. What we are given that the minimum price is 15 lakhs. So, that is not possible. Okay. So, this case is not possible. It means that this will be the vacant house and this will be the occupied house. Okay. Now, it can be, an, it can be a vacant house because even if it does not have neighbor, the price will be increased by 5 lakhs because of the road. Okay. So, this is the vacant house. Now, we have figured out both the uh, both these houses that are uh, like all the houses which are occupied in row 1. Now, it is given that each house of column D has at least one occupied house. So, this house will be an occupied house. Now, based on the given information, we cannot find out whether F2 will be occupied or whether it will be vacant. It can be vacant also, it can be occupied also because all other conditions are being satisfied as 15 lakh if you take minimum. So, this will automatically become 10 plus 5 because of road. So, it will become 15. So, minimum is being satisfied. This is anyway uh, <coughs> uh, an occupied house. This will have higher price because of 10 lakh plus uh, 5 lakh of road and 3 lakh of neighbor. Okay, Plus, it could be higher also. So, for this house F2, we cannot determine that whether it is occupied or not. So, let us answer the questions based on these. So, first is how many houses are vacant in block X? So, we have 1, 2 and 3 houses that are vacant in block XX. Which of the following houses is definitely occupied? So, A1, A1 is vacant, C1 is vacant, B1 is occupied. Okay, so B1 is definitely occupied. Which of the following options best describes the number of vacant houses in row 2? So, 1 is vacant, then 2 is vacant, this we cannot say. So, it may be occupied or a vacant house. So, depending on it, it will be either 2 or 3. So, 2 are definitely vacant, third may or may not be vacant. What is the maximum possible quoted price of a vacant house in column E? So, we need to find out what could be the maximum possible price for a vacant house in column E. So, this is column E, right? This is a price of 15 lakh. We need to find its maximum price. Now, if you have to give a maximum, first 10 lakh is there. It has no parking because it is given that only one house with parking space and block Y, Y. So, there is no parking. 10 lakh will be the base price. Plus, there is a road which is 5 lakhs. This is an occupied house which adds to 3 lakhs. And this is, we do not know. So, if we occupy this house also, it will maximize the price and hence the maximum price can be 21 lakhs. Which house in block YY has parking space? So, we know that this is the only house which has a parking space, which is house E1. So, it should be one of the options, take it as E1 and that will be the answer to this question.